What is there to do over Christmas when it's decided to rain and spoil your fun of working in the garden? And you have a 3D printer. I had a little motor from a remote controlled helicopter. I don't have any bananas, so here's a rule for scale. I downloaded this off Thingiverse and I scaled it down by about 60% try and fit that little tiny motor. So that's about one and a half volts. It's got it's got quite a bit of power for a little tiny. I can push that in horizontally and it, it blows it away. It won't really suck it in that much. It does suck it in a little bit. But now let's crank this son of a bitch up to 3 volts. It doesn't sound as bad if I hold onto it, that noise is just it vibrating around. I'm actually surprised at how well this thing printed. So here it is in bits. There's the lid. It got a little bit deformed printing this, because that was printed and was sitting on the bed that way up. There's the impeller. I am really impressed with how that came out. It is, when I find my ruler again, it measures 40 millimeters across. Can't really see that. Dodgy calipers with no battery. I have no idea where my other calipers have gone. Okay, the other digital calipers are out in another room, so you get the dial ones. About 40 mil ish. There's the motor. It has some writing on it. Uh, it says something 22 something 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 F. I don't know. It's out of a little remote controlled helicopter. There's two of them for the counter rotating blades. Don't know which way this is meant to spin. I assume clockwise because when I blow on it, it spins clockwise. So I'm spinning it clockwise. It does seem to work better that way. <coughs> I just put it in here so that I don't have to hold on to it. happen if I stuck it the other way around? The impeller in the hole. I have no idea how fast that thing's gonna spin. Spinny things plus eyes do not equal fun. 
always wear your safety glasses. Here's 1.5 volts. I don't have any fancy pants tacos, so I don't know how fast that's going. And here's 3 volts. I don't want to push it any further because the uh, the helicopter it came out of was only a single cell lithium polymer battery so I'm assuming those little motors only run on somewhere around 2 to 3 volts at most and I kinda don't want to blow it up but it came out fairly fairly nice considering it was designed to be printed about uh, I think it's 60 millimeters across and now it's 40 millimeters across so I scaled it down it wasn't exactly 60 percent but I used Netfab to uh, scale it to exactly 40 millimeters and I let it figure out what the percentage was supposed to be dun dun -dun. I love how close I can get to things with this camera. I'm not going to turn that on. Mostly because it's actually touching the camera lens. That's how close this camera can focus. But the workbench is a mess, but there's the power supply. It's just a uh, sort of cheap-ish one from a uh, local electronics store but it is variable so there's the printer I call it the Franken printer it used to be a K8200 or 3 drag but now it's something well something else see that exposed spring there yeah that was where the print failed halfway through but it's still functional thus my laziness has overcome my desire to install one that did complete mostly because it means pulling that entire X assembly apart the other thing I noticed I have an E3D on there, I had to put a little redirector on the fan because it was sucking air across the bed not allowing the bed to heat up the fan is too strong and it's just powered by Marlin with a Raspberry Pi running off the print regular old ramps